Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Yay! So, today's video is about sexual energy exchange um, and just breaking down what that is and what that means just to help you out um, and help anyone else out along the way. Um, so, boom. Sexual energy is one of the most powerful energies there is. Um, when you engage with someone in that way, I'm crazy. When you engage with someone in that way, you're literally sharing your essence with each other. You're literally sharing um, energy within each other. And I'm doing this because that's sort of how it flows when you're engaging in that. So y'all know the routine. I will look down at my notes um, just to make sure I stay on track. And let's just get started right away. So, and I'm not just talking about um, penetration. I'm talking about intimacy all together. When you're in someone's space, Penetration is just the number one way to exchange energy, okay? So, before I get started, I want to say practice safe sex and practice smart sex. Make sure you're sleeping with someone. If you do not want to be that person, do not sleep with them, okay? If you do not want that person's energy, do not sleep with them. And I'm talking to my ladies first because I'm for my ladies first. Don't open your legs. Boom. Let's get into it. So, women, we hold all of our energy in our heart space and our womb space which is our sacral chakra. Um, from our sacral chakra, um, that's our creation space, okay? Um, and that's where we birth babies. Of course, it's a creation space, but it's also where we hold all of our energy, where we hold all of our trauma, um, all of our happiness, all of our emotions is mostly carried in our womb space, which is our sacral space, okay? So for a man, um, the womb space is also, their sacral is also where they carry energy. Um, but it's not their heart space and their womb space. It's their root chakra and their womb space. So that's a little different. Um, you can kind of tell if you think about it and if we're a little advanced, you can see the difference between a woman and a man because we perform from our heart. We do everything from our feelings and our sacral chakra. And a man does everything from his root chakra, which is his stability and structure in his sacral chakra. Are, am I making sense? So, um, women gain power through having healthy sex with a healthy power, with a health with a healthy partner. So let's say if your partner is healthy, spiritually healthy, mentally healthy, got they coin together and is just an overall good person that you love. If you do sleep with them as a woman, you gain power, you gain energy, okay? Um, imagine riding the D <laughs> and imagine like a light coming up through your womb space and reaching the ethers. That's how, we're gonna get into that. We get to, but that's basically what's going on is you're sucking up that male's energy. As to a man, he gets his energy from actually semen retention. So the more he holds back, the less a man has sex, the more physically, mentally, and um, spiritually strong that man is. So fellas, don't be wasting your semen, which is liquid light, on random women. You see how you can feel drained, depressed, and confused if you're continuously dumping your semen into random wombs? So I wanted to talk about, let's just slow this down and make sure I stay on track. Let's talk about how this could be toxic. Um, so let's say it's two toxic people. Um, we have this woman who's carrying all this hurt and trauma from her life that she hasn't healed in her womb space. Um, then we have this man who's carrying the same thing. What you're doing is just passing each other those fucked up emo. Not supposed to swear, but passing each other that those toxic emotions. Um, and you're just creating what? Because as she's sucking up your toxic energy and pouring toxic energy into you, <laughs> what are you giving to the ethers? What type of baby are you making? What are you manifesting? I hope that makes sense. As I, my YouTube grows and I get more comfortable, I'll be able to break this down more as if you guys were a friend. Um, so yeah, and I wanted to talk about how it's just toxic in our, especially between the ages, it's every age, I'm not even going to say that. But you can see the toxicity and you can see like, for example, it's these men who are sleeping with three to four women. So they're carrying the energy of three to four different women with them. They're sucking up all that toxicity. And a lot of women are not dedicated to healing their womb. I posted about it. I posted about this before. A lot of women don't are not aware of what their womb space is and they're not dedicated to healing their womb. So imagine he's carrying the energy of four women. She's carrying the energy of her past three boyfriends that she hasn't let go and the trauma of her mother that she hates. Imagine what you, like imagine that's toxic sexual energy exchange and it's creating nothing but nastiness and darkness. I got to keep it real with y'all. 
Um, now let's exchange this. Let's say the woman is spiritually healthy and the man is spiritually dead, meaning he hasn't healed his, you know, problems or anything of that sort, but she is, you know, 100% healed. What is he doing? He's dumping his emotions into her. Vice versa, if the man is healed, the man is doing well, and the woman is sleeping with him, she's dumping all of her emotions and all her toxicity onto him. That's why it's important to watch who you sleep with because it's literally an exchange of energy. It's literally building up energy, okay? And woman, whoever you sleep with, you're going to take on their energy and you're going to hold that in your room. So if you have not been practicing things like yoni steams, yoni wands, or sacral meditations, it's something that you should start doing right away. Um, you heard it here first, second, or third, I don't care, but I'm your reminder to start working on those things right away. Matter of fact, after this, I probably should do a yoni steam because I think I haven't done one in like a month, you know? Um, just keep your sexual partners to a minimum. Um... Or just be aware who you're sleeping with, you know? You never know who someone is, especially when you're sleeping with someone on the first night or after 30 days. People wear a mask, okay? Um, I think it's important to always look back into people's backgrounds and what they've been through and ask these questions. You know, it's a trend going around where we're saying, um, before I get to know you, before I sleep with you, let's know where you healed from. Let's see what you healed from. And I think that is an important question and something to bring up in today's relationship because we all are dedicated to healing and transcending and having a better life. Um, the people you sleep with can stop that. You know what I'm saying? So just think about who you sleep with and who you're sharing yourself with. And I'm no preacher. And I'm just coming from places that I've been and things I had to learn the hard way. It's not like I'm holier than thou or Miss Virgin, Virgin Mary, even though I am. You know, I'm a Virgo. But... <laughs> I'm just being honest. I had to learn these things myself. Um, for example, some women could just be carrying around past partners in their womb for fucking decades and decades and decades and decades. And then it's like, okay, bitch, you're, oh, you're crazy because you're carrying all of this toxicity from all of these random men that you met or all of these boyfriends that you had that you knew weren't shit, okay? So just think about that. It's something, sometimes your emotions are not even your emotions. For example, if you get a new partner and all of a sudden you have these random mood swings all the time, think about that. What could be going on? Why is my energy changing? Is it the sexual exchange that I'm having? I think it's also important that when you sleep with someone, I hope I didn't skip anything. I think it's important that when you sleep with someone to realize how you feel after, especially women because they're intuitive. If you feel drained after, like something was sucked out of you, then that's a toxic, very toxic exchange. And that person could be sucking your energy, okay? It's some men that rely on powerful women who have their shit together and they aim to sleep with them. They don't know this is unconscious, but when they sleep with them, what they're doing is sucking their life force and sucking their energy. Vice versa, it's women who ain't shit, okay? But they know the art of seduction and they will definitely find men in um, high positions, doing well in life, just to sleep with them and suck that energy up. Especially when we live in a world where we have brujas and witchcraft and things of that sort. Sorry, I'm the one to tell you. Just make sure you're very careful of who you are, you know, sharing your sacral space with. Um, now I had a lot of, a lot more notes. Oh yeah, so that's what the sexual energy exchange is. Um, literally the exchange of energy, okay? Um, you take on their trauma when you sleep with them. So make sure that person is healed. Now, let's talk about healthy sex. If you guys are both healed, um, both divine love and divine connection, use that to your advantage. Because when you sleep with someone, like I said, if you're riding the D, ladies, <laughs> but if you're riding the D, you literally could imagine what you want in your mind. And you can literally get what you want out of that man or out of life, period. If it's something materialistic, if it's something, you know... Uh, like a union or a bond or anything of that sort, you can imagine literally taking that sexual energy that you feel in your womb space and imagine it, it like sucking it up. Oh, I see green, my heart chakra, and going through your third eye or through your crown and reaching the ethers. So as you're coming, like I said, just imagine getting what you want and releasing that energy up into the ethers. Um, if you're coming uh, without an intention or thinking about what you want, it's called a wasted cum. And if you're having wasted cums, any lower entity or anything of that sort will come and suck up that energy. Sorry, I had to tell you, it's life. But I'm just being honest. I'm here to teach, right? Master teacher. But 
anything or any lower entity is going to suck up that energy if you're not aware of what energy you're manifesting in that moment, okay? Just being real. Hate to tell you, but now you know, right? So every time you ride that D, think about what you want. And it doesn't have to be with him. It could be for your damn self, too. Y'all know, y'all know those full moon rituals. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. But yeah, that's talking about sexual energy exchange. I may do a part two because I have way more notes. Um, yeah, I may do a part two later. But for now, this is going to be this video. Like, comment, subscribe. And let me know if I'm bringing you valuable content, right? How am I going to know if you don't like and subscribe? Get me up in the algorithm so I can bring, keep bringing you videos, okay, guys? But as always, I'll see y'all next time. Kisses. Bye.